We are the Octactors. With great support of our industry partner JFK, we were working on the project of automatic pandas detection. Measuring the television audience usually requires the participating panelists to announce themselves using a remote. We are replacing the remote with a camera and a face detection. Every 40 seconds, the system then detects the persons in front of the camera. The system tries to recognize the different faces. In this case, the persons on the couch are not known, so it creates new entries for them. Gender and age are predicted automatically. With each new iteration, the prediction for gender and age get better. Furthermore, emotion and attentiveness based on eye tracking are automatically estimated. You always have the ability to provide your ground truth age, gender and name to the system. It is then being used instead of the predicted one. Everything you can see in the program window is locked and can be accessed by either a REST API or using the MQTT protocol. In this case, we provided one real person and the picture with no real person. As you can see, our system detects two persons, but only with the real person will get an entry. Alongside the main functionality of our software, we also provide automatic creation of benchmark reports that test all the different modules we considered using. Furthermore, we also added automatic creation of statistics of the user's behavior to our program. To run all software on a Raspberry Pi, you will need Retina Face, Silent Face Anti Spoofing, Deep Face, Gaze Tracking, and WX Python. Other requirements can be found in the Requirements TXT that ships with our project. Let us talk about our architecture. As you can see, we divided our architecture into the front end and to the back end. In the front end, we have two groups interacting with our user interface. The first group, the users, which represent the panelists, can either register themselves or change their data in the database. Furthermore, the number of panelists in front of the camera are shown. The second group represents GFK who can get the data out of our database and use them for further processing. Now let's come to the backend. Our backend consists of multiple modules for face recognition, age, face, for its positive gender, attentiveness and emotion detection. All the modules communicate with our database either for saving data or retrieving data. Last but not least, we also provide a module for sending data to the GFK database. Lastly, our front-end and back-end communicate with each other through specific design APIs.